The year in Chinese, Wild Man is a cryptid ape man reported to inhabit remote, mountainous regions of China most famously in the Sheningjia Forestry District in the Hubei Province. Sightings of hairy men have remained constant since the Warring States period circa 340 BCE through the Tang Dynasty 618-907 CE, before solidifying into the modern legend of the Yiren. Generally, they are described as savage, strong, and fast-moving, living in mountain caves and descending only to raid villages for food or for people to wed or rape. Scientific interest in such of men erupted in the 1950s and 60s in conjunction with pseudoscientific discoveries relating to Bigfoot and the Yeti, but pressure by the Maoist government to leave behind these kinds of legends and folk stories repressed further interest in the Yiren until its dissolution in 1976. Afterwards, large expeditions were launched by the Chinese Academy of Sciences to investigate alleged eyewitness accounts, footprints, hairs and bodies as urine fever took hold with scientists working with an unprecedented reliance on citizen science. The urine was often speculated to be a far-removed human relative, such as Gigantopithecus or Perrin, Ripus robustus. All forwarded evidence of the creature originated from known animals, namely bears, monkeys and gibbons, and scientific interest waned by the late 1980s. Nonetheless, organized urine research still persists, though no serious scientific institutions recognize such of men. The creature has become an artistic icon of wildness and nature, and was used in the wake of the Cultural Revolution to challenge sexually restrictive and egalitarian ideals as well as to address deforestation and other environmental issues in China. Oral traditions and literature of wild men Chinese, pinyin, urine, and similar creatures have persisted for millennia in Chinese folklore. Their oldest ostensible appearance in writing may lie in the Ju Ji Nine Songs by Ka Yuan who lived from 340 to 278 BCE in the state of Chu during the Warring States period. His ninth song speaks of a mountain spirit Chinese, Pinyin, Shangui. These characters generally refer to a human figure. The mountain spirit has variously been interpreted as a human-like creature clad in a fig leaf, a yao wai, a demon, or an ogre. In 1982, Chinese paleoanthropologist Zhou Guoxing discovered a 2,000-year-old lantern with an ornament apparently depicting a hairy man Chinese, Pinyin Maoran, which similarly speaks to an ancient tradition surrounding wild men. Written reports of wild men become more frequent in the Tang Dynasty 618-907 CE, though they are quite inconsistent in how visually human these creatures are. Other supposed early descriptions of hairy wild men include one. The Yi Joshu and Era compiled in the 4th and 3rd centuries BCE mention a fast-moving, long-haired creature using a character commonly translated as baboon Chinese, Pinyin Fai Fei, that supposedly ate people. If you drink the blood of the Fai Fei, you will be able to see ghosts. It is so strong that it can shoulder 1,000 caddies 500 kg 1,100 pounds. Its upper lip always covers its head. Its shape is like that of an ape. It uses human speech, but it sounds like a bird. It can foretell life and death. Its blood can dye things dark purple, and its hair can be used to make wigs. Legend has it that its heels face backwards. Hunters say that it has no knees. Du in Chengxi, Yuang Zazu 853 CE2. The era also mentions a creature using a character translated as orangutan Chinese, pinyin zingxing an animal not native to China, or more generally ape. In 139 BCE, Gao Yu described the Xingxing in the Huainanzi as having the face of a human but the body of a beast. In 650 CE, Zhao Yanshao detailed a band of Maoran who scaled a city wall. On account of their wild nature these creatures were often portrayed as lustful, capturing and raping villagers, the latter especially if the victim was female. Usually referred to as the Jew, Chinese, Pinyin Jew, these of men purportedly lack females entirely, and need to abduct and rape women to breed. The reverse is said for the wild women, or wild wives Chinese, Pinyin, Yichi, or sometimes Zingxing, where they would abduct and sling men over their backs, carrying them up the mountain to wed three. Her lips had giant bite marks, the area around her genitals was broken open and torn apart to the point that all her bones could be seen and there was more than a pint of blood mixed with white semen on the ground. Yuan may describing an alleged hairy man, victim from the Shanxi province, what the master would not discuss, 1788 CE. The exact name Yiren has typically been used in the mountains of the Sheningjia Forestry District in the Hubei province, though the earliest written reports of the Yiren are from Fang County 90 kilometers 56 miles north of Sheningjia.
In 1555 during the Qing dynasty, its local newspaper Fangxianzi published a story about a group of urine sheltering in nearby mountain caves which preyed on their dogs and chickens too in rural Hubei. The urine were rumored to be the descendants of the runaway laborers conscripted to build the Great Wall of China. Five other newspapers as well as Chinese natural history works, such as Li Shizen's 1578 Compendium of Materia Medica frequently mention urine or similar of men. Testimonies of the alleged creature typically agree the urine walks upright and stands over 2 meters 6 feet tall, is covered in tawny hair all over the body, especially long at the scalp, and has a face reminiscent of both an ape and a human. Other common descriptors include black red hair distended eyes, long arms hanging all the way down to the knees, and big feet. The urine supposedly laughs when coming across a human. Reported sightings of Upman increased during the 20th century, prompting small scientific investigations in the 1950s and 60s. The first such expeditions focused more on the Yeti, a similar ape-man cryptid from Tibet funded by the Soviet Yeti Research Commission. The Institute of Vertebrate Paleontology and Paleoanthropology, IPP, headquartered in Beijing followed suit and included the Yeti as part of its survey of Mount Everest in 1959. Prominent paleoanthropologist Pei Wenzong communicated to Soviet colleagues a small collection of similar ape-man reports across China. In 1962, another prominent paleoanthropologist, Wu Rukang, led an investigation of reports from the Zishuangbana Di Autonomous Prefecture in the Yunnan Province, but dismissed them as a misidentified given nine separately. Professor Mao Gangnian linked the Yeti with the urine. His interest in the topic began when he heard his colleague Wang Zilin's story of an ape man shot dead in 1940 while in the field on behalf of the Yellow River Water Control Committee 10. During the Mao era 1949 to 1976, under Chairman Mao Zedong, fervent government campaigns aimed to squash superstitious beliefs and to quell debates surrounding mysterious of men. They believed stories of urine, ghosts, and spirits would impair productivity, such as by scaring farmers from tending to their fields and circulating such stories were sometimes punishable offenses. Scientific interest quickly dwindled and Gang Nian became one of the only scientists researching the urine. He used primarily recent scientific reports and ancient literature, as opposed to contemporary eyewitness accounts. Other scientists such as Pei ascribed of men testimonies to scientific illiteracy and strong superstitious beliefs among villagers in these remote areas though they remain supportive of further study. Gang Nian, nonetheless, argued that by studying urine, he could replace superstitions with scientific fact. He speculated urine are the source of Chinese ghost and spirit folklore, much like how manatees allegedly inspired some mermaid stories. Eleven Soviet historian Boris Porshnev suggested these of men are a relict population of Neanderthals, but Gangnian believed the urine were far too primitive, more likely a descendant of the giant Chinese ape Gigantopithecus. Remarked that at first he thought it was a local Wa woman climbing the mountains to collect pig food. 16. The urine being a far-removed human relative would have confirmed several popular Chinese theories of the time, which depended strongly on Marxism. Most notably is Friedrich Engel's concept of labor created humanity, because despite being bipedal with hands free to labor, the urine did not organize into a laborious society and remained evolutionarily stagnant. It would also support the out-of-Asia theory that modern humans evolved in Asia, which was being overturned by the now popular out-of-Africa hypothesis. Consequently, hypothetical urine society was often characterized using Marxist feminism. A polygynous and matriarchal 117 urine were also sometimes ascribed feelings of love and familial bonding. For example, in 1976, a pregnant urine was rumored to be searching for her husband in Sheningjia 18. By the 1980s, whole books about the urine were being published, and a substantial collection of such literature has since amassed eight some urine hunters, generally men, dedicated their lives to the chase, leaving their families behind. 19 and 1981, Lee received funding by the Chinese Anthropological Society to found the Chinese Urine Investigative Research Association. Four of their exhibitions that decade garnered audiences upwards of 400,000. As all expeditions had failed to turn up convincing evidence, scientific interest plummeted by the late 1980s. 21 alleged bodies, hairs and footprints actually came from various known animals including humans, Himalayan brown bears, Tibetan blue bears, Asian black bears, macaques, coral and zero. Purported monkey boy skulls supposed evidence of urine human hybrids actually belong to fully human children who suffered Spinosauri velar ataxia 7 since they usually are reported to have occurred at a distance. Eyewitnesses may have misidentified bears, gibbons and monkeys. 
Additionally, many eyewitness accounts were likely completely fabricated or embellished. 22. Following the 1989 Tiananmen Square protests and massacre, the government began constricting private organizations and discouraged the ideas and observations of lay peoples including on scientific matters. Concurring with this trend in 1994, Li's Urine Association was subsumed by the China Association for Science and Technology, though it is largely funded by members instead of governments and was renamed the Strange and Rare Animals Exploration and Investigation Committee. 23 Further study is still not ubiquitously reproved in Chinese academic circles though mainstream academia does not consider the urine to be real. One of the only academics left attempting to prove the creature's existence is American anthropologist Jeffrey Meldrum.